Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. As always, if you learned something, go ahead and hit that like, leave a comment, and make sure you hit the bell so you get that notification when I drop a new video. Today we're in Excel, right? So what data professional doesn't love Excel for reporting, right? Uh, you don't have to answer that. But there comes a time when we don't have the most optimal tools for our data visualization and reporting needs, and we need to MacGyver our way to a, a solution. And I'm talking to my hardworking database deprived analysts toiling away in finance or external reporting. You're probably cutting and pasting from Excel uh, at this very minute, but that's okay because this video is going to save you some time because it's your one-stop shop for all things stacked bar totals in Excel. So here is a manual task in Excel that uh, drove me up the wall until I got a decent handle on it. So let's take a look at some data here. I've just got some some products and then I've got a, a ship mode here. And if you look at my stacked uh, column chart here, you'll see that I have the totals here at the top. So this is not something that's intuitive and Excel makes easy to do. Uh, you know, you're gonna have to hack your way through it. And then I'm also gonna show you how to do it this way, your stacked bar, right? Excel calls them stacked column and stacked bar. So on the stacked bar, we also have the totals here. So let me show you how you would end up doing uh, something like this, adding those totals to the, uh, the stacked bar and the stacked column. So let's start with stacked column first. So my, my original data, if you take a, my original data looks a little bit more database friendly here. You got your subcategory, your ship mode, sales per customer. Um, if we look at what I've got here, all I did was pivot that data to turn it into this. This isn't a pivot chart. Uh, I removed kind of the, uh, the um, underpinnings there for the pivot chart and I just cut and paste it into this format. Uh, not going to show you how to make a, a pivot chart. Um, that's not what this video is about. We're going to get right into uh, creating the uh, the chart here in Excel. So let's highlight all of uh, these uh, the products and let's highlight uh, the the ship mode as well. And I'm not including the grand total here. And then once we have those highlighted, we can come up here and we can insert a uh, a 2D uh, column a stacked column right here. All right, so we have something like this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and make this a little bigger so we can uh, so we can see that. And, you know, we can do a little bit of formatting here. I can say equal to this right there. And if you'll notice, I have, see how we have the first class, same day, second class, standard class. Those are the columns uh, up top here. What I want, I want my first column here to be on the axis. So what I like to do, I mean, you could do it either way. Um, but what I like to do is I like to switch the row and column. So you'll notice my chairs, tables, machines, and copiers are here on the axis. And then on these different cuts, right, I should have, right, copiers. Um, oh, so this is all copiers. Sorry, first class, uh, same day, basically my, my ship mode. So once I'm in this, um, in this format right here, uh, what we can do here, we'll just do a little bit of formatting. I'm going to delete this right here and then you can go to add labels and bring in all of your labels do that fairly quickly right and so all of those will correspond to um, to the different values here in these subsequent uh, subsequent columns right so what I want to do is get all the grand total stacked on top here it's a little hack so in order to do that let's select uh, right we select the chart and then we can expand the chart here to include the grand total and you'll notice we have this big chunk here that corresponds to our grand total. So if I select copiers here, you'll see the value of 8534, uh, which corresponds to copiers. And we can actually turn, uh, we can add data labels there. So you can see that that is the grand, uh, grand total. And so what we want to do now, let's go in here. Let's, um, let's change the series chart type. And this will pop up, right? We're in a combo chart. And right, all of these, um, these ship modes, we want to keep as stacked column, but on the grand total, I want to change this over to a line, right? Say okay. 
and we end up with something uh, like this. And then I'm going to go in here and make sure that you uh, select the whole line. I'm going to right click here and let's go ahead and uh, format the data labels. And those should show up at some point. And I want to make sure that those are above and you'll see that they move there. And I, I can leave that, uh, leave that alone uh, for now. And then we can get out of here. I'm going to come back in, make sure I'm selecting the, the line. You'll see all the points here. And then I'm going to uh, uh, format the data series. And if I come over here, I want to say no line, right? And that gets rid of our line. And so now all we have to do, I can select these and just format this as normal. I can make that bold. I can make this uh, bigger if I want to make that stand out. And you'll notice we have the grand total down here. We don't want that grand total to show up. So I'm going to select it and hit delete. And there you go. We have our stacked column with the totals on top. So that's part one. Now stick around. I'm going to show you the stacked uh, bar totals. I'm going to show you this guy right here, how we add those totals to the stacked bar total. So stick around. Okay, so the stacked bar chart in Excel, adding totals, this one, this is the one you want to stick around for. This one's a little bit trickier, a little bit more hackier. Uh, you don't see too many solutions for this on the internet. So, so this is the one you want to watch. So let's go ahead and highlight. And well, first thing you'll notice, I have this new column called spacing, right? So you'll want to put this column in here, I call it spacing, and you want to have a, um, you know, we'll, we'll start with a value of zero. I'm going to change this uh, so you can see, but we'll start uh, with this. So let's highlight all of this, uh, not including the grand total. And then we're going to go up here to insert, and we go back over here, and we want our 2D bar. And we end up with something like this. Let's go ahead and expand this out so it's easier to see. Right, and we're going to do our little formatting, get rid of that, uh, do our chart title. Here we go. All right, and you'll notice, right, so spacing is here. Basically, again, I want my products to be on the axis so I can switch the row and column. And you'll notice that spacing disappears because it has a value of zero, right? And we want to make sure that our grand total does not include the, the spacing value because we're going to change it. It's only summing up uh, these values. So, all right, so what do we do with, uh, with that, uh, that spacing value? So right now, just temporarily, I'm going to put a value of 1,000 in here just to get something to show up, right? And so you'll see, right, I could copy this down, but I want to screw up my formatting. So you'll see I've added this spacing value here. Let's go ahead and turn all these on just so you can get a feel for um, what these correspond to. Gonna go add all those data labels, and I'm gonna add the data labels for the spacing. It has a value of a thousand right here. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna right click, and then I want to um, format the data labels. And you'll see it has a value here. And what I want, I want the value from cells, not the value, the value from cells. So I'm gonna select value from cells. Uh, it's going to ask me for a data label range. I'm going to select the grand total here without the headers. Say OK. So what that does, you'll see that it's trying to put in two values here. It's putting in the value and the value from cells. If I uncheck value, you'll see that my thousand now is replaced by the grand total. So that's what that value from cells does. And let's go ahead and, and format the spacing data labels. Let's move this position here. Uh, to inside base so we're gonna we're gonna move that to inside base and then I'm gonna select I'm just gonna go back in here and select the uh, the series here and we want to change the fill to no fill right so now we just have our value just kind of floating out here right changing it to inside base keeps it keeps it right there and so what I can also do I can go back and change these to zero just in case right so if I change those to zero um, You'll see that, oops, get rid of that. You'll see that my values are still here, right? So a little hacky way of doing it. Basically, there's a zero value here, but we're showing the grand total instead of the zero. 
I mean, that's that's the uh, the trick right there. And of course, obviously, we can do some uh, some minor formatting just like we did before. Make that stand out. Make that pop. I want to get rid of my spacing value. We don't need to see that. And then, you know, you know, you can do something like this. You can uh, format the legend. If you want to bring it to the top or move it around, you can you can do that. Just showing you a little extra tip. But here you go. This, this is how you add totals to your stacked uh, bar chart in Excel and your stacked column chart in Excel. So hopefully this has been helpful. As always, this is Anthony Smoke. Get out there and do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.